sure the necklace is in the Montejo house? Si. How many men will be needed? Six, seven. Now, who will lead the raid? I will. No. I will. You? Why do you smile, Diego? Because you are uh, a girl. And this amuses you? Well, it does. When you talk of leading a raid as important as this, it is a job for a man. Are you forgetting Santa Lucia? No. Or Carboca? Or the ambush of the Federalists at Rio Blanco? Did I not ride as hard and fight as well as any man who was there? But you did not leave. If you came face to face with Montejo, what would you do? <laughs> mm. What would I do? What would you do, Diego? Suppose I am Monteja, and I am prepared to guard the Carlotta necklace with my life. What would you do? What could I do with a gun pointed at me? Oh. <laughs> from the Rancho Monteja. Don Ramon has gone to California and he has taken the Carlota necklace with him. Where in California? To the Rancho Gringo Prince, the Hacendado's name Barclay. We will go after him. Yes, she's right. We can buy guns with that necklace and more important food for the people in the areas we control. If we don't feed them, we'll lose their support. I'll go with you. Thank you, Mateo. Hermano mio? I will go. We should have three more men. You pick them, Mateo. We'll ride tonight. like that, Don Ramon, will only get you an invitation to stay longer. Ah, uh, how I wish I could. It has been a long time since I spent a more enjoyable four days. But I must travel out to San Francisco. Well, you could spend some time with us on your way back from San Francisco. Gracias. Uh, unfortunately, I must return without unnecessary delay. The situation in Sonora being what it is. Just what is that situation? Chaotic. Revolution is rampant. The Basada's rebels gain control of more villages every day. 
the government seems powerless to stop them. What about the report that Emilio Basantis was killed? It is true. He was killed at Cerro Cibute a year ago. But his followers carry on. Yes, Silas. Is this what you wanted, sir? Ah, yes. Gracias. And now I have a favor to ask of you, my friends. Oh, what a lovely bar. Ah, oh, but wait, senor. Heath, come here. Good evening, Don Ramon. Good evening, Heath. Boy, Howdy, that must be worth a fortune. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It has been in the Monteja family for three generations. I had to bring it with me because I heard rumors that the rebels were planning to attack my hacienda and steal it. But I am reluctant to carry such a fortune with me any farther than I have. Which brings me to the favor I would ask. I wish to leave the necklace here with you for safekeeping while I'm in San Francisco. But uh, you have a safe? Yes, we do. Then I'm sure it will be perfectly secure. All right, Don Ramon, we'll keep it for you. Gracias, senora. Muchas gracias. And now, if you will excuse me, I shall retire. I must be on my way very early in the morning. Buenas noches, amigos. Senor. What do you want? I am Miranda. Basadas. Basadas? And this is my brother. And you know what we want. Mateo, don't waste your time on that imperialist pig. He left the necklace with his gringo friends. Let's raid the rancho and get it. No. Yes. Oh, Miranda, don't be so foolish. Raiding the Barclay Ranch and getting the necklace is one thing. Getting back to the border with it is another. Now, our only chance of making it is to get the necklace without a fight. And how do we do that? Our friend is going to help us. I will not do anything to help you. I think you will. Buenos dias, senor. Hello. I am looking for the Rancho Barclay. Well, now, that is the best news I've heard in a long time. This is it. I'm Nick Barclay. Oh, of course. I recognize you now by my uncle's description. Your uncle? Oh, forgive me. I am Miranda Monteja. Ramon Monteja's niece. Oh, now, what do you know about that? Your uncle was here just a couple of days ago. Yes, I know. I just saw him in San Francisco. Oh. I have been there for several weeks visiting friends. Oh, what are you doing in Stockton? He sent me. He's not feeling well. Oh, really? Oh, nothing I... serious. He just did not feel up to traveling. Uh -huh. He sent me to get the briefcase he left with you. Oh, well... He uh... gave me this note authorizing you to give it to me. Go on inside and meet the rest of the family, huh? Thank you. Um, I cannot stay too long. I have to catch the evening train back to San Francisco. Oh, well, that's the worst news I've heard in a long time. 
Oh, right. Watch yourself, huh? There you are. Huh. Right this way. Somewhere here, there's a letter we got from Montea last... There it is. Yeah. What do you think? That's Montea's handwriting all the way around. I knew that girl was too beautiful to be a thief. I'm sorry you won't be meeting my daughter, Audra. She's visiting friends out of town. Oh. Well, here we are. <sighs> what is the necklace? Get it for you first thing Monday morning. I don't understand. Well, we thought a necklace worth a quarter of a million dollars deserved better than a wall safe, so we put it in the vault in the Stockton Bank. And this being Saturday afternoon. What does that have to do with it? Locked up tight until Monday morning. Well, there must be something you can do. Oh, I'm afraid not. Looks like you're going to have to stay here. Oh, that, I, I cannot do that. Uh, you see, I'm supposed to be on the evening train for San Francisco. Uncle Ramon is waiting for me. Well, we'll send him a telegram explaining oh, no, the situation. Oh, no, no, I, I cannot do that. You see, I came only with the clothes I am wearing. Oh, Audra's got lots of dresses you can wear. No, I, 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 I cannot impose. I will go to the hotel. Hotel? That's ridiculous. You can stay up at Audra's room. Well, Nick is right. We wouldn't think of letting you go to a hotel. We'll, uh... Yes, I'll show you to your no, room. No, 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 no. Don't you bother. I know how much you enjoy having your tea. I'll take Miss Monte upstairs. I'll have Silas fix you a nice hot bath, and you can rest a little bit before dinner. the niece of Don Roman, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. A very beautiful niece. Yeah. What is that I smell? What? Oh, that. Yeah. You think it's uh, too much? No, not if you stay up wind. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I think I better go up and see if she's ready. All right. Oh, uh, buenas noches. Buenas tardes. Uh, uh. Senorita, would you do us the honor of saying grace? Bendecir la mesa, da gracias. Uh, um... Nick? Um... Thank you, O oh Lord, for the bounty you place before us. Amen. Nick and I thought you might like us to take you to church. Church? No. Very well. Senora, I would like to go for a ride this morning. Of course. You'll find some of Order's riding things in that closet. I'll have a horse saddled for you. Gracias. I 
feel as though I almost insulted her by asking. You know where she slept last night? On the floor. Oh, uh, Mother, you must be wrong. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, maybe, maybe she hurt her back or something. You know, it's more comfortable to sleep on the floor when you hurt you. Nick, she doesn't behave like the niece of an aristocrat. You saw her at the dinner table. Well, she uh, may be a little more different than we expected, but well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Come on, let's go. We're going to be late. <laughs> No. What happened? The Barclays put it in a vault in a bank in Stockton. They cannot get it for me until tomorrow morning. But they believe you're Montea's niece. <laughs> good. Good? What is good about it? I've got to go back and be polite to those wealthy gringo swine. Ugh. I'll turn my stomach. I don't remember. <laughs> Silas, would you put the buggy away, please? Yes, Mrs. Barclay. Oh, Silas, has uh, Miss Montea returned from a ride yet? Not yet, Mr. Nick. Ah, she's been gone almost three hours. Well, she'll be all right. Well, I better change and have a look myself. Do you know where she went? Uh, she was heading east. I watched. Mm -hmm. I might have known. I better not go any farther. It's not my country anymore. What a true friend to humanity you are. You give up your own land to, to fight for people who are not your own. That makes you very special. you went to church. No, no, no. I got home about an hour ago. Oh. Good thing we met up, though. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. Nothing wrong. Just that, well, I got to thinking about you going to San Francisco all by yourself with that necklace. Well, if something should go wrong. Oh. <laughs> well, nothing will go wrong. No, no, no. You can't tell. We've had a lot of train robberies lately. And, uh, well, I think it's best that I go with you. Go with me? Yeah, we can uh, stop at the bank, pick up the necklace, and Still have time to catch the 9-10? No. Why? Well, I, uh, I do appreciate the offer, Senor, but, uh, well, I don't want to inconvenience you. Oh, no, no, there's no inconvenience at all. It's, uh, well, I, I'm due for a vacation. I'll tell you what. We can have dinner together in San Francisco. I know a little place up on Russian Hill. Um, well, I cannot do that. Why? Well, I just can't. Are you uh, spoken for? Spoken for? Yeah, engaged. You mean betrothed? Yeah. Yes, I am betrothed. Oh, well, uh, that's too bad. Who's the lucky fella? Oh, he's um, just a young man in, uh, in Mexico City. Mexico City, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, now that is strange. For a minute, I thought it was that uh, gringo I saw you kissing a few minutes ago. 
Now, why don't we stop play acting, huh? You're no more Montea's niece than I am. Who are you? I'll look in on her again uh, in the morning. Thank you, Doctor. Night, Doc. Would you lock up, please, Nick? Yeah, right. Where do you think you're going? Uh-oh. Stay away from me. Well, now, that was real cute. Get over there.
Hold it! Let's pick up where we left off this afternoon. Who are you? I don't have to answer any questions. I have done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong? You no. just tried to shoot me, stab me, and strangle me. If you don't think that's something wrong, perhaps I should bring up the fact that you're a thief. I am not a thief. No? What would you call a person that tries to steal a necklace worth $250,000? A revolutionary. A what? I am an anarchist. An anarchist? See, I am Miranda Basadas, and my father was Emilio Basadas. Perhaps you have heard of yeah, him. Yes, I have heard of him. And let me tell you this, gringo. The thief in your house was not I, it was Ramon Monteja. Is that a fact? Yes. And the necklace he gave you to keep for him was not his. It belongs to the people. What people? The peons of Sonora. It was bought and paid for by the poor. And they were forced to contribute to show their love for the wife of Max Million when he ruled Mexico. Here. It is called Carlotta Necklace. Well, now, if that's true, what's Mantea doing with it? He was an agent for Max Million and Carlotta. That was his reward for betraying his country. Senora, on behalf of the people of Sonora, I demand that you surrender the Carlotta Necklace Miss. If you are a free man, why do you work as a servant for these gringos and dados? It's my job. Oh, no, my friend, no. I will tell you why. It is because you are still a slave, just as the poor everywhere in the world are slaves of the rich. Animals to be, to be starved and worked and beaten. I guess I just hadn't thought of it that way. But this time you did. If you want to be ready for the day when the poor rise up and throw up their shackles. Viva Miranda! <laughs> you bingo, go ahead and scoff. But your day of reckoning will come. Well, excuse me, miss. All right. And now, senor. Yes? I demand to be allowed to leave this house today. Dr. Morales said you'll stay, and when Dr. Morales says you may leave, you may go. I do not understand you. No. You will not have me arrested and you will not let me leave. That's right. In Mexico, I would in have been Mexico. put in front of a wall and executed. Oh. What kind of haciendado are you? Is that what you want, to be executed? I want to leave! Be quiet. I want to leave! No! Uh. You could not have kissed me if, if I had not let you. Why did you? I'll, uh, tell Mother you're leaving.
There was a feeling of autumn in the air today, didn't you think so? Oh, mm-hmm. Won't Senor Nick be here for dinner? Oh, no, he had to go to Stockton. He won't be home till late, I'm afraid. Oh. Senora. Hmm? You have not asked me why I did not leave today, as Senor Nick told you I would. No. Why not? I come into your house as an imposter and to steal, and yet you treat me as though I have done nothing wrong. Well, I don't think you have. Not yet. I have never known haciendados like you. Well, maybe that's because you... Uh, you never really looked for them. Oh. I didn't expect you to still be here. I wanted to talk to you before I left. What about? The color of the necklace. All right. Well? Senor, you have never been poor. And you have never been hungry. I don't mean for an hour or a day. I mean for weeks and months. No, I haven't. I have been. What do you think made my father a revolutionary? And why do you think I rode with him? I don't know. For years he worked without reward on him. He lived without hope. He watched my mother slowly die because she, she gave what little food they had left to, to their children. To me and to my sisters and brothers. And still we were hungry. Pardon me, but what has this got to do with the necklace? There is starvation in the areas the revolutionaries control in Sonora. We need money to buy grain and cattle, food to stop children from crying and to prevent the death of many people. The Carlotta necklace is our only hope of getting the money. Oh, senor, I have never begged for anything in my life. But I do now. I beg you to give me the Carlotta necklace, please. Oh. Miranda, Miranda, I, it doesn't belong to me. But it does not belong to Ramon Manteja either. That's not for me to decide. Senor, please. Miranda. Miranda, if it were mine to give, you would have it. I believe you. Where are you going? Home to Sonora? Do you want to go? I have no choice. Yes, you do. No. What 
What's wrong? I'm... I could not get the necklace. The Barclays found out who I am. How did you get away? I did not have to get away. You mean they just let you go? Yes. Matteo, we have to forget about the necklace. Forget it? We have no choice. Oh, we still have Montea. No. We're going to let him go. What's happened to you, Miranda? Nothing has happened to me. Well, I've never seen you give up so easily before. Well, I know when we are beaten. Well, then it is the first time. All right, then it is the first time. Get done, Montea. No, no. Stay where you are. I don't understand you. Are you forgetting all the hungry people we have in our hands back in Sonora? Are you forgetting that if we don't feed them, we'll have lost everything? That we're through? I'm through now, Mateo. Oh, what does that mean? It means that I'm not going back to Sonora. Miranda! I can't, Lazaro. Oh, why? Why? Don't leave her alone! Now answer me. Why aren't you going back? Because Nick Barclay wants me to stay. So that's it. He's in love with you. And you're in love with him. I'm sorry I lost my temper. Forgive me. In you, my friend, my apologies. I'm truly sorry. Miranda, you're making a mistake. Giving up everything you fought for for so long. But I have fought for my people and they will go on fighting. Oh, but without the Carlotta necklace, without money to buy food and guns, they will lose. Oh, Miranda, think. With that necklace, victory is assured. We can rule all of Sonora. We, oui, Matteo? Yes, us, you and I, all of us in this room. And who is to decide that? We are. We've done the fighting. We deserve the reward. Reward? What would you do? Hand over Sonora to a mob of peasants? No, I... I would let the people rule themselves. Oh, Miranda. Open up your eyes. Look around, see what the world really is. Do you know what would happen? The haciendados, within a week, would get their ranchos back without it costing them one centavo. And, um, how much would we charge them, Mateo? We could get millions out of them. Have you bought and sold revolutions before, or is this the first time? What is the matter with you? Don't you hear what he is saying? Remember, Miranda? You asked me to pick those who would ride with us. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you don't... You don't disappoint me. You sicken me. And you make me despise myself for thinking I could ever love you. I really thought you were different. A man who fought with another people in another country because he believed in their fight. You are nothing more than a mercenary! <laughs> And you, you're going to run an errand for me. Where are you going, Nick? Oh, I thought I'd go look for Miranda. Well, that might be a long ride. You think she's gone back to Mexico? She came for the necklace, she didn't get it, she left. Now, what do you think? I think we should have given her the necklace in the first place. Oh, Nick. She deserves it as much as Montea, maybe more. At least she's going to use it to feed some of the people that paid for it. Which is more than I can say for Montea, keeping it in the safe. Yeah? Senor Nick Barkley? That's right. I am Lazaro Vasadas, Miranda's brother. Oh, come on in, come on in. It's my mother. Senora? What can I do for you? 
I am one of five men who came from Sonora with Miranda. The others are a gringo named Mateo Hollis and three other hombres that work with him. What are you talking about? Please, senor, let me explain. We have been holding Don Ramon Monteja in a shack about 10 kilometers from here. Why? Because of the Carlota necklace. This morning, Miranda came to us and told us to forget the necklace and to release Don Monteja. She also told us that you asked her not to return to Mexico. Where is Miranda now? Mateo is holding her hostage with Monteja. He would not do what Miranda asked. He sent me to tell you that if you do not deliver the necklace to him, Miranda and Monteja will be killed. Where is the shack? In a box canyon to the east. That must be the old Roberts cabin. What are you going to do? I'll have to get the marshal and some men and get Miranda and Monteja out of there. No, senor. There is only one narrow entrance to the canyon. Mateo could kill Miranda before you got near the shack. He's right, Nick. That could be very dangerous. Well, the uh, next best thing to do is to get the necklace to this fella Hollis. Montea shouldn't complain too much. We're saving his life. Now you tell this fella Hollis that I'll go into Stockton and get the necklace from the bank, and I'll meet him at the shack at 3 o'clock. Gracias, senora. Gracias, senora. Montea. In there. Bring him out here. Get Montea. The necklace. Sorry about this, Marilyn. I suppose. There was nothing else you could do, Nick. Well, come on, let's go. Just a minute, Barclay. You don't know me, so I'll forgive you for thinking I'm a fool. But you could have men waiting outside the canyon. I could have. So you understand my problem. I have to get back to Mexico for this to do me any good. Yes, you would have to do that. So you're coming with me. Mateo, don't. You're my ticket to the border. It's all right. Get out, the rest of you. How many men have you got out there, Barclay? Marshal and three deputies. Is the Marshal a friend of yours? I hope so, for your sake. Because if they try to take us, you're dead. Put this in my saddlebag and get our gear together. We're leaving. What 
happened, Miranda? You were holding Montea. You could have used him to get the necklace back. Why didn't you? I don't know. I, I just couldn't. It's strange. All of my life I've been taught to hate the haciendados. I never thought one could teach me anything. Well, I think maybe we're even. I never thought I could learn anything from a revolutionary... Revolutionary? Revolucionario. Rebel. I do not know how to thank you, amigo. Is something wrong? You're sure this is yours, Montea? But of course it is mine. Not according to Miranda. She says it was bought by the people of Sonora and presented to the Empress Carlotta. Certainly you do not believe her. Yes, I do. A rebel? A revolutionary? An anarchist? Yes. You mean you are going to turn it over to her? No, I'm going to turn it over to the marshal here. And he's going to give it to the Mexican consul. But it is mine. That, I'm afraid, is your private little battle with the Mexican government. I'll need a statement from you, Mr. Montea. Come with me, please. I'll see you in town, Nick. Let's go back to the house, shall we? Mateo for deceiving my people. But is that any worse than deserting them? Well, I... That is exactly what I would be doing if I stayed here. And the guilt that I would feel would... would be a... a wall between us. Well, you... don't have to go home right away. You could wait around a day or two. No. Now I know if I do not go now, I will not go at all. I've got to go back and be polite to those wealthy gringo swine. Ugh, it turned my stomach. It'll never. <laughs> Thomas, would you put the buggy away, please? Yes, Mrs. Bartlett. Oh, Silas, has uh, Miss Montea returned from a ride yet? Not yet, Mr. Nick. 
Ah, we've been gone almost three hours. Well, she'll be all right. Well, I better change and have a look myself. Do you know where she went? Uh, she was heading east. I watched. Mm -hmm. I might have known. I better not go any farther. not my country anymore. What a true friend to humanity you are. You give up your own land to, to fight for people who are not your own. That makes you very special. you went to church. No, no, no. I got home about an hour ago. Oh. Good thing we met up, though. There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. Nothing wrong. Just that, well, I got to thinking about you going to San Francisco all by yourself with that necklace. Well, if something should go wrong. Oh. Huh. Well, nothing will go wrong. No, no, no. You can't tell. We've had a lot of train robberies lately, and, uh, well, I think it's best that I go with you. Go with me? Yeah, we can uh, stop at the bank, pick up the necklace, and Silly. Come in. Nick, I'm sorry. It's all right. So you're Alice. Where's Montea? In there. Bring him out here. Get Montea. The necklace. Sorry about this, Marilyn. I suppose there was nothing else you could do, Nick. Well, come on, let's go. Just a minute, Barclay. You don't know me, so I'll forgive you for thinking I'm a fool. But you could have men waiting outside the canyon. I could have. So you understand my problem. I have to get back to Mexico for this to do me any good. Yes, you would have to do that. So you're coming with me. Mateo, don't. You're my ticket to the border. It's all right. Get out, the rest of you. How many men have you got out there, Barclay? Marshal and three deputies. Is the Marshal a friend of yours? I hope so, for your sake. Because if they try to take us, you're dead. Put this in my saddlebag and get our gear together. We're leaving. Look, 
Looks like Nick called it. Montea. In there. Bring him out here. Get Montea. The necklace. Sorry about this, Marilyn. I suppose. There was nothing else you could do, Nick. Well, come on, let's go. Just a minute, Barkley. You don't know me, so I'll forgive you for thinking I'm a fool. But you could have men waiting outside the canyon. I could have. So you understand my problem. I have to get back to Mexico for this to do me any good. Yes, you would have to do that. So you're coming with me. Mateo, don't. You're my ticket to the border. It's all right. Get out, the rest of you. How many men have you got out there, Barclay? Marshal and three deputies. Is the Marshal a friend of yours? I hope so, for your sake. Because if they try to take us, you're dead. Put this in my saddlebag and get our gear together. We're leaving. like Nick called it. You could have used him to get the necklace back. Why didn't you? The necklace. Sorry about this, Marilyn. I suppose there was nothing else you could do, Nick. Well, come on, let's go. Just a minute, Barkley. You don't know me, so I'll forgive you for thinking I'm a fool. But you could have men waiting outside the canyon. I could have. So you understand my problem. I have to get back to Mexico for this to do me any good. Yes, you would have to do that. So you're coming with me. Mateo, don't. You're my ticket to the border. It's all right. Get out, the rest of you. How many men have you got out there, Barclay? Marshal and three deputies. Is the Marshal a friend of yours? I hope so, for your sake. Because if they try to take us, you're dead. Put this in my saddlebag and get our gear together. We're leaving.
Looks like Nick called it. You could have used him to get the necklace back. Why didn't you? I don't know. I, I just couldn't. It's strange. All of my life I've been taught to hate the haciendados. I never thought one could teach me anything. Well, I think maybe we're even. I never thought I could learn anything from a revolutionary... Revolutionary? Revolucionario. I do not know how to thank you, amigo. Well, is something wrong? You're sure this is yours, Monte? But of course it is mine. Not according to Miranda. She says it was bought by the people of Sonora and presented to the Empress Carlotta. Certainly you do not believe her. Yes, I do. A rebel? A revolutionary? An anarchist? Yes. You mean you are going to turn it over to her? No, I'm going to turn it over to the marshal here. And he's going to give it to the Mexican consul. But it is mine. That, I'm afraid, is your private little battle with the Mexican government. I'll need a statement from you, Mr. Montea. Come with me, please. I'll see you in town, Nick. Let's go back to the house, shall we? I denounced Mateo for deceiving my people. But is that any worse than deserting them? Well, I... That is exactly what I would be doing if I stayed here. And the guilt that I would feel would... would be a... a wall between us. Well, you... don't have to go home right away. You could wait around a day or two. No. Now I know if I do not go now, I will not go at all. and three deputies. Is the marshal a friend of yours? I hope so, for your sake. Because if they try to take us, you're dead. Put this in my saddlebag and get our gear together. We're leaving.
Looks like Nick called it. You could have used him to get the necklace back. Why didn't you? I don't know. I, I just couldn't. It's strange. All of my life I've been taught to hate the haciendados. I never thought one could teach me anything. Well, I think maybe we're even. I never thought I could learn anything from a revolutionary... Revolutionary? Revolutionario. Rebel. to thank you, amigo. on her again uh, in the morning. Thank you, Doctor. Night, Doc. Would you lock up, please, Nick? Yeah,
course you do. No. the necklace. The Barclays found out who I am. How did you get away? I did not have to get away. You mean they just let you go? Yes. Mateo, we have to forget about the necklace. Forget it? We have no choice. Oh, we still have Montea. No. We're going to let him go. What's happened to you, Miranda? Nothing has happened to me. Well, I've never seen you give up so easily before. Well, I know when we are beaten. Well, then it is the first time. All right, then it is the first time. Get done, Mantea. No, no. Stay where you are. I don't understand you. Are you forgetting all the hungry people we have in our hands back in Sonora? Are you forgetting that if we don't feed them, we'll have lost everything? That we're through? I'm through now, Mateo. Oh, what does that mean? It means that I'm not going back to Sonora. Miranda! I can't, Lazaro. Well, why? Why? You leave her alone! Huh? Now answer me. Why aren't you going back? Because Nick Barkley wants me to stay. So that's it. He's in love with you. And you're in love with him. I'm sorry I lost my temper. Forgive me. Can you, my friend, my apologies. I'm truly sorry. Miranda, you're making a mistake. Giving up everything you fought for for so long. But I have fought for my people. How much would we charge them, Matteo? We could get millions out of them. Have you bought and sold revolutions before, or is this the first time? What is the matter with you? Don't you hear what he is saying? Remember, Miranda? You asked me to pick those who would ride with us. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, you don't... You don't disappoint me. You sicken me. And you make me despise myself for thinking I could ever love you. I really thought you were different. A man who fought with another people in another country because he believed in their fight. You are nothing more than a mercenary! <laughs> And you, you're going to run an errand for me. Where are you going, Nick? Oh, I thought I'd go look for Miranda. Well, that might be a long ride. You think she's gone back to Mexico? She came for the necklace, she didn't get it, she left. Now, what do you think? I think we should have given her the necklace in the first place. Oh, Nick. She deserves it as much as Montea, maybe more. At least she's going to use it to feed some of the people that paid for it. Which is more than I can say for Montea, keeping it in the safe. Yeah? Senor Nick Barkley? That's right. I am Lazaro Vasadas, Miranda's brother. Oh, come on in, come on in. It's my mother. Senora? What can I do for you? I am one of five men who came from Sonora with Miranda. The others are a gringo named Mateo Hollis and three other hombres that work with him. What are you talking about? Please, senor, 
Let me explain. We have been holding Don Ramon Monteja in a shack about 10 kilometers from here. Why? Because of the Carlota necklace. This morning, Miranda came to us and told us to forget the necklace and to release Don Monteja. She also told us that you asked her not to return to Mexico. Where is Miranda now? Mateo is holding her hostage with Monteja. He would not do what Miranda asked. He sent me to tell you that if you do not deliver the necklace to him, Miranda and Monteja will be killed. Where is the shack? In a box canyon to the east. That must be the old Roberts cabin. What are you going to do? I'll have to get the marshal and some men and get Miranda and Montea out of there. No, senor. There is only one narrow entrance to the canyon. Mateo could kill Miranda before you got near the shack. He's right, Nick. That could be very dangerous. Well, the uh, next best thing to do is to get the necklace to this fellow Hollis. Montea shouldn't complain too much. We're saving his life. We have to forget about the necklace. <laughs> forget it? We have no choice. Oh, we still have Montea. No. We're going to let him go. What's happened to you, Miranda? Nothing has happened to me. Well, I've never seen you give up so easily before. Well, I know when we are beaten. Well, then it is the first time. All right, then it is the first time. Get done, Montea. No, no. Stay where you are. I don't understand you. Are you forgetting all the hungry people we have in our hands back in Sonora? Are you forgetting that if we don't feed them, we'll have lost everything? That we're through? I'm through now, Mateo. Oh, what does that mean? It means that I'm not going back to Sonora. Miranda! I can't, Lazaro. Oh, why? Why? You leave her alone! Now answer me. Why aren't you going back? Because Nick Barkley wants me to stay. So that's it. He's in love with you. And you're in love with him. I'm sorry I lost my temper. Forgive me. Can you, my friend, my apologies. I'm truly sorry. Miranda, you're making a mistake. Giving up everything you fought for for so long. But I have fought for my people and they will go on fighting. Oh, but without the Carlotta necklace, without money to buy food and guns, they will lose. Oh, Miranda, think. With that necklace, victory is assured. We can rule all of Sonora. We, oui, my dear? Yes, us, you and I, all of us in this room. And who is to decide that? We are. We've done the fighting. We deserve the reward. Reward? What would you do? Hand over Sonora to a mob of peasants? No, I... I would let the people rule themselves. Oh, Miranda. Open up your eyes. Look around, see what the world really is. Do you know what would happen? The haciendados, within a week, would get their ranchos back without it costing them one centavo. And, um, how much would we charge them, Mateo? We could get millions out of them. Have you bought and sold revolutions before, or is this the first time? What is the matter? Very well. Senora, I would like to go for a ride this morning. Of course. You'll find some of Ordre's riding things in that closet. I'll have a horse saddle for you. Gracias. Come with us. Oh. I feel as though I almost insulted her by asking. You know where she slept last night? On the floor. Oh. <laughs> Mother, you must be wrong. Well, uh, maybe, maybe she hurt her back or something. You know, it's more comfortable to sleep on the floor when you hurt you. Nick, she doesn't behave like the niece of an aristocrat. You saw her at the dinner table. Well, she uh, may be a little more different than we expected, but well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. 
Come on, let's go. We're going to be late. Mateo. Did you get the necklace? No. What happened? The Barclays put it in a vault in a bank in Stockton. They cannot get it for me until tomorrow morning. But they believe you're Montea's niece. <laughs> good. Good? What is good about it? I've got to go back and be polite to those wealthy gringo swines. Ugh. It turned my stomach. It'll never. <laughs> Silas, would you put the buggy away, please? Yes, Mrs. Barclay. Oh, Silas, has uh, Miss Montea returned from a ride yet? Not yet, Mr. Nick. Ah. She's been gone almost three hours. Well, she'll be all right. Well, I better change and have a look myself. Do you know where she went? Uh, she was heading east. I watched. Mm -hmm. I might have known. I better not go any farther. It's not my country anymore. What a true friend to humanity you are. You give up your own land to, to fight for people who are not your own. That makes you very special. There isn't, miss. If you are a free man, why do you work as a servant for these Gringosian dados? It's my job. Oh, no, my friend, no. I will tell you why. It is because you are still a slave, just as the poor everywhere in the world are slaves of the rich. Animals to be, to be starved and worked and beaten. I guess I just hadn't thought of it that way. But this time you did. If you want to be ready for the day when the poor rise up and throw up their shackles. Viva Miranda! <laughs> you bingo, go ahead and scoff. But your day of reckoning will come. Well, uh, excuse me, miss. All right. And now, senor. Yes? I demand to be allowed to leave this house today. Dr. Morales said you'll stay, and when Dr. Morales said you may leave, you may go. I do not understand you. No. You will not have me arrested, and you will not let me leave. That's right. In Mexico, I would in have been Mexico. put in front of a wall and executed. Oh. What kind of haciendado are you? Is that what you want, to be executed? I want to leave! Oh, be quiet. I want to leave! No! You could not have kissed me if, if I had not let you. Why did you? <laughs> 